There it is. NASA now says a big boom heard over the skies of Pittsburgh on Saturday was a meteor exploding in the atmosphere with the energy of about 30 tons of TNT. A meteor. News Nation viewer Martin Ibeck, who lives about five miles outside of the city, sent us that video from his home surveillance cameras. People who live in that part of southwestern Pennsylvania described a sensation like a shock wave that came out of nowhere rattling doors and windows, bringing the new year with a bang. Now, Ibeck sent us a second surveillance video. This is what the explosion sounded like from his backyard. Initially, it was a mystery. No lightning or flash in the sky, just a really loud explosion. It sent a lot of people calling 911 to try to figure out what was going on. The National Weather Service then sent out this tweet with the graph of a satellite image that shows the intensity of a flash somewhere in the sky. NASA saying if it was a clearer day, there would have been a fireball 100 times the brightness of the full moon to go along with the boom. Wait, what? I was stunned that this isn't a bigger deal. A meteor creates a huge explosion over a major American city? Everyone just says, oh, yeah. What? Joining us now to explain this is Bill Cook, lead for NASA's Meteoroid Environments Office. Thanks so much for taking the time. Appreciate it. So Thanks. I have I have since learned that meteors shooting across the sky are not that rare. No, they're not. Uh, they occur all the time. And the exploding part, too. Uh, when you have the bigger space rocks, they can penetrate deep in the atmosphere and they'll break apart violently and create an explosion that people hear is sound on the ground. So, yes, they do happen. Do they ever hit Earth? Uh, sometimes they drop fragments on the ground. We call these pieces meteorite, and there are probably a lot of people out in western Pennsylvania looking for pieces from that event on J January 1st. Are they going to be able to find them? I don't know. Uh, sometimes these events produce meteorites on the ground. Sometimes they don't. Uh, they're scanning things like Doppler weather radar and other things looking for places to search right now. But can you predict these things? I mean, did people there know this was coming? Oh, no. Rocks this small. This thing was about a yard across, weighed about a thousand pounds. And things like that, we don't detect them until they hit the atmosphere. They're way too small to be seen in telescopes or anything like that. So they just come in and, you know, hit the atmosphere and break apart and sometimes create sounds that people hear. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You're making it all seem like it's no big deal. Of course, yeah, meteors, you know, they explode over big cities sometimes. And, you know, it leads to, to windows shaking and this and that. I don't know. It just seems like a kind of a big deal to me that these meteors could hit the Earth, too. Well, I mean, you figure that the Earth is hit by meteors this big about 100 times a year. So the Earth as a planet runs into these meteors, you know, once every three to four days. So for the Earth, this is not unusual. We encounter these things all the time. But if you're in western Pennsylvania, it's a pretty rare event. Yeah. All right. Well, Bill Cook, look, I learned something today because when I first heard about this story, I thought, oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? Did you hear what happened? And then as I looked into it more, smarter people like yourself started pointing out to me that stuff happens. I didn't know that. It does. So, Bill, it would Bill have been Cook, a bigger deal if it had been not cloudy. The media would have lit up if they saw that thing across the sky. Right, if there'd been the video shot of it, not just the sound. Um, all right, Bill, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Well, hey, by the way, I guess we'll be having you on later in the week when the next one uh, is, it explodes over another big city that you're telling me happens all the time. So we'll look forward to, we'll look forward to having you back. Coming I up next. I look forward to coming back. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.